Welcome to the Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is 14 October 2024, and we're diving into the latest developments in the world of cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Web3. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Vanek, a global asset manager with over $118 billion in assets, has launched Vanek Ventures, a new venture capital unit. This unit aims to raise $30 million for its first fund, focusing on early-stage startups at the intersection of fintech, digital assets, and artificial intelligence. Led by Wyatt Lonergan and Juan Lopez, former leaders at Circle Ventures, the fund plans to make 25 to 35 investments, targeting projects related to tokenization and stablecoin platforms. Vanek's move into venture capital aligns with the growing trend of crypto venture firms raising significant capital, with over $2.2 billion raised this year alone. Godzilla Games' Battle Royale shooter Off the Grid has quickly become the top free title on the Epic Games Store, surpassing giants like Fortnite. The game, which incorporates blockchain technology for minting and trading in-game items as NFTs, has attracted significant attention on Twitch, with around 148,000 viewers. Despite its early access limitations, the game's success highlights the potential of blockchain in gaming. The game uses its own gun token for transactions, although it hasn't launched on the Avalanche mainnet yet. Paradigm has invested $20 million in Ithaca, a new spin-off company developing the Odyssey Layer 2 blockchain. Led by Paradigm's CTO, Georgios Konstantopoulos, Odyssey aims to enhance blockchain development with a comprehensive stack of products and tools. The project is live on testnet and incorporates features from the future Ethereum roadmap, focusing on improving user onboarding through robust smart wallet contracts. Paradigm remains committed to its research and development initiatives, with Ithaca representing a continuation of their efforts. An article critiques the player versus player mentality in the cryptocurrency market, where profits are often made at others' expense. It highlights the disparity between established cryptocurrencies and newer tokens, which have underperformed for retail investors. The piece argues against high valuations and listing fees on centralized exchanges, suggesting a focus on creating valuable products. Alki Labs is cited as a successful case of launching on decentralized exchanges first, avoiding high fees, and achieving better performance. A discussion on financial metrics for Layer 1 and Layer 2 blockchain networks emphasizes the need for new metrics like total economic value and real economic value. The article critiques traditional metrics and highlights the importance of understanding operator payments and their impact on token holders. It contrasts POW and POS networks, discussing the sustainability of these networks in generating revenue that exceeds operational costs. The author expresses skepticism about the long-term viability of many crypto assets as stores of value. Ripple co-founder Chris Larson has donated $1 million in XRP to Vice President Kamala Harris, highlighting his support for political figures aligned with his vision for cryptocurrency. This donation comes amid increased scrutiny and regulatory challenges in the crypto industry. Larson's move has sparked discussions about the potential for political influence in shaping cryptocurrency legislation, underscoring the intersection of politics and technology. Bybit, the third largest offshore cryptocurrency exchange, has opened registration for users in China, a significant shift from its previous policy. This move comes as exchanges adapt to regulatory changes and competitive pressures. Meanwhile, Binance is reportedly undergoing layoffs, affecting around 20% of its workforce, attributed to market challenges and overexpansion. Additionally, the Hong Kong government is implementing new cryptocurrency regulations seen as a step forward for the region's crypto landscape. That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain.